Hello there, my name is Marcus and welcome to my channel. So for this stay at the Walt Disney World Resort, we chose to partake in the Boardwalk Villas, DVC style. I'm very excited to take this endeavor. Of course, if you've ever ventured to Walt Disney World before, I'm pretty confident that we have all taken part in the Boardwalk on the side of the actual hotel itself that features all of the amenities and shops and shows and sidewalk entertainment but we have never actually stayed here before that changes today with the power of the disney vacation club normally uh, if you are not on dvc this hotel can range from 550 to 750 dollars per night let's see if it's worth it <laughs> so very excited to bring this to you guys this is just us here walking in and getting checked in very authentic uh, old school style decorations uh, i found these pretty cool they had paintings of each of the disney castles around the world in the main hall while we were getting checked in thought to give that a look see uh, we have a really cool elephant style decoration Somebody got stickers and a birthday button. Look at that. Oh my God. And I got all the Mickey stickers. <laughs> this is somebody's birthday. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, we indeed take our eight-year-old daughter to Walt Disney World for her eighth birthday. I'm just uh, happy that I am able to do these kind of things to help celebrate her. I always considered a blessing. Definitely a privilege, not a guarantee. So here's some of the activities that the boardwalk provides around the hotel, around the activity areas. It has a ton of stuff to do here. They got some movie times, just some cool artwork that I wanted to show you. This is actually right in front of the bathroom. I had to take a leak and, you know, they have all these cool little artifacts reminiscent of the 1940s, 50s boardwalk fair. So I figured I'd take an opportunity and show you some of the magnificent paintings and pictures that showcase cases what the boardwalk has to offer snacks definitely can't go to disney world without having a variety of snack carts and stores around everywhere this is was around breakfast time so you got all your fruits and pastries uh, bakery items uh, juices and pops milks uh, everything you can ask for it's right here in this little side cart area very nice uh, the girls part took in uh, the snacks but i wasn't very hungry so i didn't get anything for myself i'm showing you the first pool here this is the main pool of the boardwalk it was heavily crowded so we just took a gander kind of show you of what's going on here kind of looked like the water slide there was reminiscent of a roller coaster so i found that pretty cool also to the left there you will see a circus tent and that's where you're going to grab all of your snacks and your beverages your alcoholic beverages uh, maybe even a tent and whatnot so definitely look like a fun time for sure ominous green field in the forefront here very peaceful a little cool little spot for the kids to run around and play the atlantic dance theater now we actually make our way to the boardwalk that is for all kinds of tourists that travel to walt disney world back in our younger days uh, me and the wife would travel here to sometimes cut a little rig when we were done with our park days <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't click off the video, please. Jelly Rose, forefront of the boardwalk itself. Oh, beautiful. Looks like a postcard, does it not? Jesus Christ. Just something else. You cannot undertone the look of the boardwalk, especially with that painted blue cloudy sky. It's just something to marvel at for sure. Next, I want to show you the Bellevue Lounge. It's a cool little nook on the upstairs portion of the boardwalk. Fun little getaway. Maybe your family's getting on your nerves or you need to get some work done. You need to get some editing done sneak away maybe grab uh, a vodka and a cranberry or a jack and a coke and just sit down and chill maybe read a book or something and get some work done cool little spot you know i mean don't get me wrong if you want to let your kids uh, kind of chill in that area too they're more than welcome to i think all the other adults in there will probably give you a sour look but i guess it's here for everybody to enjoy <laughs> Just a painting with two dudes on horses. I thought it was cool. And then we have a viewfinder. Looks like this was created or it looked like it was meant to be 
created in like the 1800s, maybe early 1900s. Merry-go-round, gotta love it. You know, we have one at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, maybe it looks like a representation of what we have here in miniature form. Horses in the ceiling. <laughs> That's cool. This uh, boardwalk is really reminiscent of horses. It kind of reminded me of Saratoga, to be completely honest. If you've ever seen that resort, you know that Saratoga Springs is, has a very huge reminiscent of horse racing and horses in general as well. Thoroughbreds, to be specific. Ominous green field in front of uh, the front patio of the boardwalk. I thought it was beautiful. Just figured I'd show you guys. This pathway takes you to where all the restaurants and shops are located. Message board kind of shows you everything going on on the resort, all the food, and beverages, restaurants. It's always cool to have a little bit of a helping hand just in case you get lost. Just some more furniture and decorations that I wanted to show you guys. Little gold plated candle holders there. And a hidden Mickey that Faith found. I found that pretty cool as well. And then we head to the back of the resort where I show you this extremely peaceful looking staircase. Kind of reminds me of those old romanticized movies where a woman is like kind of standing at the top of the staircase and her suitor is waiting for her with kind of a courting situation going on where people actually fell in love. <laughs> Then just more fields and just a look at the actual lands and grass itself. I found this grass super soft. I don't think I've ever stepped on a more softer grass in any Disney resort property ever. I just had to mention more of the resort to see here. It reminded me of uh, that suburban white picket fence. As you see, we ran into a little friend here during our exploration of the boardwalk. I had to add him to the vlog. Definitely the cool thing about Disney, you're always going to find us a ton of lizards everywhere. During our search, we did find the middle pool. This is definitely your more low key. If you don't want to be surrounded by a bunch of kids and families, you just want a more chill, relaxed pool experience. I would say this would definitely be your jam here. Very, very relaxed. It kind of reminded me of one of those old school beach houses. You know, no kids around. Uh, definitely right up my alley for sure we head back to the ominous staircase i had to show you all the front view kind of reminds me of one of those huge uh, justice centers or courthouses chandeliers uh, on the hallways leading to the resort were pretty cool and it had mickey and his friends with an old school style their faces added on to them you know also i wanted to add and to note here that the boardwalk is within walking distance of epcot and the skyliner and no you actually do not need park admission to be able to access the Skyliner. Now, the side of Epcot that it takes you to is World Showcase, so keep that in mind. If you're trying to get to Future World, then you need, still need to go to the front of the park from the parking lot to actually get to Future World. But, you know, if you're just trying to grab dinner from World Showcase and you have Park and Mission, definitely could be right up your alley if you're staying at the Boardwalk. You know, so we definitely had to take a ride on the Skyliner as a Boardwalk guest. That was pretty cool. And when we returned, back to boardwalk we noticed a lot of construction within the area this is where you can grab a pizza from boardwalk or ice cream snacks uh, candy for the kids uh, just restaurants in general now, a lot of this stuff is under construction currently which that is a normal occurrence of disney just a lot of it has to get refurbished it is what it is then we decided to make our way back into uh, the main lobby which we were greeted to the merry-go-round that was now going around in circles that was a really cool spectacle to see and also uh, the roller coaster in uh, the main lobby was now illuminated so that was super cool now finally i know what you've all been waiting for room tour boardwalk picture then let's take a look at the bathroom we have a clean white pattern sink there's a big mirror hey what's up how's it going hey all right one of my favorite things about the Disney Resorts, the water always gets hot fast and cold fast. Can't beat that. Takes us into this very cozy bathroom here. Toilet was tight, very comfy. Got the job done. We have plenty of towels and washcloths. Shower was very nice. Water pressure in there was uh, complimentary. Very nice. Plenty of plittos and blankets, extra if you needed it. Taking us to the kitchen area here, we have a refrigerator, a coffee maker, re microwave, toaster, paper towels, uh, plates, uh, cups, uh, glasses if you want an alcoholic beverage. Very nice. We have a queen size bed. Felt like uh, a cloud. Those pillows were just some of the best ever. I really love the decor in here as well. The Mickey and the Minnie with the top hats and the old school outfits. Gotta love that. Plenty of outlets in here as well. You know, I'll 
always need to charge a lot of electronics, so that is very helpful for us. We got the girl there on one of the side beds there. There's also a breakaway bed from the love seat here. They got Goofy and Max on the top painting there. That is very nice, but a very, very cozy. You got two sad beds that you can break away to set up, and then you also have your main bed. You got the Disney Alexa. Uh, once you open up the bed, it kind of reveals a Goofy and Max uh, cozy sleeping uh, picture as well. That was super cool. They kind of take you out into the patio section here, kind of show you the view that we got. It overlooks right over top of the main pool that's got all of the carnival aesthetics around it. So that was a pretty decent view. Uh, the kind of this huge tree was in the way. I wasn't really a big fan of that, but you know, it's better than nothing. Got these pillows here with these Mickey patterns on that. Can't beat that. Then that takes us to the arcade games. Uh, I think that's enough of the room. So let me show you some video games, man. Y'all know I'm a gamer. So definitely I saw the glowing lights reminded me of my childhood back in the 90s. Every time I see an arcade, specifically a Disney Resort arcade, it puts a smile on my face. This is the standard for every uh, Disney Resort hotel on property. It's got to have some sort of arcade. Disney Boardwalk is no different. Same thing with the Muscle and Bustles Health Club. Uh, you can lift some weights, get your run on, treadmills, bikes up all the norm it has towels water if you need to get a workout and even though kind of weird for needing to get a work on in if you're on disney property i mean we averaged about 25 26 000 steps a day so personally i didn't really feel the need for that but if you need to get your lift on you can listen go for it man uh, do you maybe like 26 year old marcus would break away and trying to get a bench press on or a squat but you know 36 year old marcus just walked 27 000 steps then 10 miles like nah i'm good where's the whiskey but at least for vlog purposes, I'll give y'all a look-see and show you what I'm looking at here. It's pretty cool. Also has a running trail as well. If you still want to get your run on after walking that 20,000 steps. Pro Manade, a uh, very cool art shop that I wanted to show y'all. It is some amazing stuff in here. So let's take a look. Right as you enter this establishment, you definitely get the feeling that you shouldn't touch anything. You are greeted by Ariel, the little mermaid with uh, flounder. That is really cool. If you kind of look down here, you see a cool Beauty and the Beast palette, followed by the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That is super cool as well. Uh, look at that. Oh, man. So cool. Definitely not anything cheap in here. I think the cheapest thing I saw in here was like $250. So you're definitely, yeah, if you're coming in this uh, Disney art store, you're definitely looking to spend a pretty penny here. But it is some amazing stuff in here for sure. Look at that Steamboat Willie. That is amazing. Oh, look at that Mickey Minnie in London. You got a Sorcerer Mickey here. Sorcerer's hat. Beautiful. That glass sculpture's there. Oh, look at that Pirates of the Caribbean on the left-hand side there. Oh, that tiger. You know that's my favorite animal. If you did now you know got that clock tower moving within uh, an artwork piece uh, the eiffel tower gotta love that and that eiffel tower gotta love it now how about some live entertainment Surprisingly, 
I did it! Now, after that live entertainment, I figured I'd show you some of the other entertainment here at the Disney's board while we got some cornhole. You, you don't want me. You don't want me, bro. I promise you don't. We have the third and final swimming pool here. Pool table. We have another interactivity kind of clubhouse. We got some pinball machine, foosball. We got some air hockey. We got gaming. We got Nintendo Switches, PlayStation 5s, uh, Xbox uh, Series X is there as well have another gaming table here as well i can't recall what that's called we got arts and crafts gotta love that fun times make a disney castle we have just uh, adult size chest so we got the girls swimming in the peaceful swimming pool here this is more our flavor we've never really been a crowded swimming pool type we know like more of our normal flavor here joe and taylor y'all don't want me table tennis let's go and then we have our home movies there we got the projection going on in the front center field at the boardwalk got 11 they were playing moana that night so that of course is going to make for a good time and of course it's the boardwalk so we have more live entertainment let's go Yes, you heard that correctly. That was actually a mom and daughter duo doing some spectacular hula hoop tricks. And there was also the same crew that was doing the juggling with the bowling ball pins as well. Very, very cool. Give you some more views of the boardwalk at nighttime. Easily one of the most beautiful spectacles on Disney property, in my opinion. Figured I'd take you into one of the gift shops to show you some specific Disney boardwalk trinkets and souvenirs. We have uh, purses, water bottles. Uh, this is the one I had my eye on. This is a Christmas ornament showcasing the actual hotel the main uh, spectacle of the boardwalk. Easily the most spectacular part of Disney's Boardwalk is the live entertainment. Uh, you got to love that, man. That is some of Disney's best undiscovered uh, treasures for sure. Got some carnival games on the side here. AOG, I don't know what you were shooting, but that certainly wasn't basketball. You need to take that back to the John Boy. <laughs> <laughs> but good times were had all around as you can see drinks were flowing fun was being had kids and adults alike were having an equally good time man this is a really fun old-fashioned resort i'm exhausted <laughs> you know i really had a great time vlogging this full resort for you guys i hope you really enjoyed it i put my heart and soul into this to show you the full disney's boardwalk experience i really loved it i had only seen the entertainment thus far we had never stayed in the room but staying in the room being a part of the disney vacation club uh, definitely showed me uh, the lights and i am so happy that i am a part of this and i am able to showcase this to you guys so hopefully you can maybe uh, share it with your families as well now in saying that i personally don't think it's worth no dog on 550 dollars to 750 dollars a night Ain't nothing worth that. I had a great time, but listen, that's a pretty penny. If you balling like that, listen, go for it. 
but you know i gotta be realistic in this video as well like i wouldn't personally pay that for it if i wasn't a part of dvc fortunately for us the dvc experience makes that possible for us but no i would not pay 750 dollars a night to stay here there's no freaking way but yeah so but like i said let's just be being honest man so now we have come to that part in the video where it's for y'all to tell me y'all thoughts. Do you agree with everything I've said? Have you stayed at the boardwalk before? If so, how did you feel about it? Do you agree with everything I've said? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's not worth the money? Do you think it's worth it if it's a part of the Disney Vacation Club? Personally, I do. But if you don't, let me know. Let's talk about it. Let's have a healthy discussion about it, man. I'm very, very excited to see what y'all have to say about this one. Like I said, I am uh, a Disney enthusiast. I take my family multiple times a year and I am very excited to share my passion with you guys truly so if you enjoyed this video please do me a favor hit that like button maybe consider hitting that subscribe button so you can follow all of my disney content here maybe consider leaving a comment so you can contribute to the conversation and help this channel grow i'd really appreciate it you can follow me at youtube.com slash smart 79 i am also on facebook instagram and tiktok as always my friends uh, thank you guys for watching thank you for contributing to this little old dream of mine i really do enjoy making this content for you guys truly and as always I will see you guys on the next one. Catch you guys later. Bye.